twelve twenty three. Yeah, twelve twenty three. Note accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Okay, lovely stuff. Right. Okay, now we're in the game. <laughs> oh man, they're already doing this kind of shit. That's cool. <laughs> so yeah, uh, welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I didn't play the like last one, and asked me at the start if I played it, so I said no. So hopefully, like, I think this is just a build on on this game that's like I think over five years old now. Um, I think they were saying as well in the description for the game that they added a bunch of stuff, so I'm not going to notice the difference because, again, this is my first time playing this, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say other than, like, I guess let's go. Um, actually, wait, settings, let me, I'll feel the view. Yeah, we're, we're, we're turning that shit up. Um, we'll leave that alone to her in the game. I don't have a controller. Hold left or and right mouse buttons for walk. Oh, okay. I like that. Language English. Subtitles. Subtitle size. Eh, that's grand. Uh, actually, I'll make them large just so like it's easier to see in the stream. Um, background opticity. Accessibility. Player data. Audio. Um, just turn them down to 80 for now. This is the story. Oh, that's where this music is from. I swear I've heard that like music being used so many times in different like videos or something like that. <laughs> that's got a gas. V-Sync on borderless. What, 59 hertz, bro? We can't we can't hit the 60 hertz, huh? There we go. Let, let's try and hit the 60 hertz there. Uh, controls, okay, we won't lead, do anything else with that. Okay, right, I think we're ready to go now. Uh, the end is never the end, is never the end, is loading, <laughs> never the end. I love the way just, loading just breaks that, like, uh, continue, or thing that's constant. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley, yes. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He yep. sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders oh, wow. came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. She's kind of a Although boring job. might have considered it so winning. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was there, there is a wire just underneath his chair leading to it, so... And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change The Stanley, Stanley Parable. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Ah, oh, no what a one shame. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, I need to turn up the, the thing. I know, I'm sorry, I do this with every single game. But I need to adjust it, like. There's no universal setting for games, right? Oh, wow, I kind of just glide. Am I a ghost? Have I been working too much at this job that I've just turned into a fucking ghost? All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, what door. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley oh. looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, I just turned it off. Uh-oh. I didn't do it, I swear.
I wonder if the narrator's gonna get annoyed at me for not going straight to the meeting room. Is this it? Don't think it is, but there's a door open over there. Nope. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Wait, it didn't? Did it advance the story in any way? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think Jack's other guy actually got like the voice actor for like the narrator's voice actor to voice over for him. Oh. Two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. Oh, fuck, this is some weird psychology shit. I, it's like, I could just go through the left, like he says, or be a rebel and go through the right. But that's what everybody else does, right? Everybody else would go to the right, so I should just go to the left and follow his orders. But I'm following his orders, and I want to rebel against it, and I want to go to the right. But at the same time, that's like, that's like what like I think I would do, but others would do as well. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to be like everyone else. I'm going to go there. Ah, fine. I'll go left. Okay, I can't change it now anyway. So wait, we're still meant to be going to an office, right? Is this it? Or a meeting room, should I say? Oh, is this it? Yep, this is it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressive. Hey, I wasn't done reading that! Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw... Okay, which one of you are fucking with me? Where's even the computer for this? Who has the clicker? Number of slides on the slides. Charts, um, green, charts and slides, orange, and then slides, blue. So that's just individually, yeah. Right at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. <laughs> okay, I get it. We're, get, we're getting all meta in, in here now. Rate of increase in graphs per slide. Please, no more charts begging. The Boss Appreciation Minute. On your Boss Appreciation Minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Fill out in triplicate and return to thing. Solving uh, interpersonal conflict. I think that's the one I saw when I entered, wasn't it? What are your dreams for the future? Talk radio. Tra <laughs> transcend. Yes, I would love to transcend reality. Metamorphosis. I can't jump. I was going to try and jump on and see if I could interact with things. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work and don't get fired. Promotion. So just don't just do the same shit. Resent co-workers for not supporting you more. Okay, that's the only thing I wanted to see from that. Oh, I can open this. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Can I do it again? No, okay, it won't, like, trigger it again. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Maybe there's something... Why is that red? Yeah, you know, maybe maybe I will go to the boss's office. Actually, I I I I don't need to play a horror game right now. It's not that I'm scared. It's just like I just want to, you know, follow the game. Oh, okay. Oh, this fucking piece of soundtrack too. Oh, thank you, uh, Kazuto, for raiding me with two people. Oh man, I've been waiting to see that fucking gif above my head for so long as well. Thanks for the follow as well, man. But, um, yeah, no, I just had Anya there for ages. I've just started playing this game randomly today. And, like, it's my first time playing it, so. Very good so far. <laughs> Executive bathroom. Why is this place... Bro, like, I, now I know why you don't ask for a promotion. The boss is fucking siphoning all the money for himself and making his, like, space look the best, like. Oh, I can actually go in here. Oh, it's actually nice. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Extreme, extreme bathrooms. Sounds like I'm typing something when I just hold E. 
Maybe that's just the whole point. It's just the sound of me interacting. Or I can't interact with something. But then again, all this fella hears in his head is literally like... Uh, the typing of his keyboard for how much he's done it. I oh, find I won't go through the, that door. I'll go through this door. Bro, this fella has a fireplace. Danny was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unravelled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was oh, that the keypad behind rip. the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> by simply pushing red <laughs> by pushing red the buttons. Stanley oh. happened to input the correct code oh, shit. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Uh Okay, never mind. I I lied. It's not a fucking. It's not a chimney. It's a fake chimney. I mean, uh, you could have should have expected that though, because like this is meant to be an office building. Like how, uh, you know, I'm I'm questioning this way too much. The fuck. Okay, now we're turning into a horror game. Oh god, I can't see. Hold on, I need to pull the blind down a bit. Oh. It's so dark. Actually, you know what? Fine, I'll, I'll just turn it off. Because I know they say you should have thing at thing, but... Oh, I can't change it, can I? Ah, oh, shit. No, I can't change it. It was only at the start of the game that I could change it. Um... Yeah, no, I can't change it. Rip. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to keep this dark, like, for the whole thing. Oh, yeah, it's a button that says go down. Let's go. Oh, at least we have light now. And we're in, like, a 1970s kind of elevator. I'm only saying 1970s. <laughs> loading, 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 loading. But I'm only saying 1970s because I was playing Portal Stanley recently. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Uh, who wanted in this scenario? In his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. We're not go. Wait, what do you mean not for long? We can just go back up. Nah, okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Well, actually, what if I do? Will the narrator get pissed at me Oops. if I go back? Nope. Uh, never mind. Ah! Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss? <laughs> well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Oh, and there's a loading. Okay, I'll just go straight back down. I don't think there's going to be anything. Okay, yeah, that's not going to take long, is it? Thank God. The narrator's not going to say anything else, is he? Yeah, no, I think it's Here just... Here we are, so Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that key <laughs> storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other. Weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising well, I touch something narrative. Here. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. What is that? Wait, there's something I can interact with on the desk. I see my cursor come up. What is it? Oh, bag? It's not making a sound when I hover above it. Huh. Alright, sorry, I'm gonna go back. Just give me a sec. Come on, let me play with the piano at least. Okay, yeah, I can't go through there either. Alright, okay, I'll, I'll stop fucking around. Incredible. <laughs> getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Honestly, I don't know. I'm kind of just a genius in disguise. I keep telling everybody I have two brain cells and really have more. This time, Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? 
Well, it's not that spooky anymore. It's kind of brighter than Stanley normal. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I mean, I could just escape. Fuck, I hate, I hate the fucking psychology of this shit. It's like, I could just do what he doesn't say, but I also could just do what he says. And then it's thinking like, okay, what would others pick? And it's just like, Joe, it's probably 50-50. Okay, I'm curious about the job description. Oh my god, this is reminding me of like the incredible scene where like there's a big massive screen and it's just showing you all the different like robots that are going to destroy like the town. Huh. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Television screens? What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength well, to find out? No, not really. I, I, I'm going back. Never mind. I don't think I could go back. It's closed, isn't it? Yeah, it's closed. Okay. The fuck is happening? We Okay, so for years we've been just typing and doing what we were told. Not asking for promotion or anything. And now, like, nobody's here. And we're in a mind control facility. Now okay, the so there's cameras. To life, their true nature revealed. Oh. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Oh shit! Stanley's I... co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom. Four hundred and something. What was my number? It was like four hundred twenty-seven, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, that's my office. This one right ahead here is my office. And there's nothing there, though, obviously. Cause I, I thought for a second... Oh, that one's glitched up there. 33. So it's 34 that's glitched. Oh, number 601 was fired. Sexo in one, two, three, four. The fuck? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Oh, somebody was just fired. Had been manipulated to accept it blindly. No, he refused to believe <laughs> it. He couldn't accept it. He his couldn't accept it. In someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Probably, yes. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad Offline. or content. Walking, oh. eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Zero, one, and as four, the cold two, reality two, of his one. past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Can I step down here? <laughs> I'm so confused. Bro, What? what is happening? Okay, I guess nothing here. Kind of just ominous that this is down here. Is there anywhere else I can go? Oh wait, there's big buttons, Joe, that glow. Let's press them. Diddle in, diddle in. Okay, there's a big one and two. Can I press any other buttons? That's <laughs> just. Okay, press all the buttons, see what happens like. Oh, wait, there's one button up here. What does that say? Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Then we got five as well. Oh, and there's a nerve. So wait, that's five. That's three. One, two, three. And there's a thing behind me. Oh, wait, there's also this. Bro, just let me press the big button. Big red button never did anybody any harm. Swear down. So wait, is the where's four? Oh, up there, isn't it? <laughs> it's just like the one place I haven't been yet. Up the stairs. I just can't even see it because it's so dark. 
Oh, but I can't go up there yet. Okay. Fine. You know what? We'll just, we'll just go straight across to here and just see what happens. Oh, if I remember that password. No, I don't think that would have worked. It's probably 142. Actually, hmm. No, but I don't have four, so I can't do it. I can't try it. Okay, it's not closing on me. Oh, no, this is the room I was talking about in The Incredibles. <laughs> Damn, I'd imagine. The source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible, horrible place, place and to everything it stood for. It's <laughs> just like, hmm, do I push the button on? Okay, we'll do what he says for now. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess I won't be able to see anything, though. If the credits start rolling, I swear. <laughs> it's just like, bro. Oh. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Probably not. Oh. Yes. Loading. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Okay. And yet... Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Oh, so I'm not even going to find that out. Freed from the machine's grasp, what other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. Oh Jesus, that's but that's actually fucking bright when you see nothing but darkness. Not to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed. Oh, I can't go back. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. That's your Jesus, you got the bleeding cobblestone walls there now, like. Bleeding hell, like. Oh, okay. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant, meant to, to be. Or happen. Uh, Joe, Stanley read what it says. Was happy. What do you mean Stanley was happy? Like, sure, I'm free, but where the fuck is everyone else? Okay, I guess... Beat the game. Get your first achievement. <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh, wait. There it is. It says, the end is never the end is never the end. The end is loading. Huh. Oh, so they just throw me back in. Okay, so this time I'm not going to do anything of what he says, what except this part, because I need Stanley to. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, what numbers at the end was it? Fuck, it was 601 and 300 and something. Hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, this is the 400s. I'm pretty sure there's like room 300 and something that was just fired or something. But then how do you fire someone when they're not even like here? Huh, and there's a secret in there as well. Okay, this is going to take a lot more. Because honestly, I could just stop and be like, well, that's when it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> perfectly Perhaps well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. You know, actually, this is what I should have been doing. I should have been opening, like, every single door. Like, look through there. Like, if you open this door, you can get through that door to 4B9. Instead of 4 8, 9. They might be too interesting, but uh, oh, this is nice actually. A room worth admiring. It had really been worth the oh, detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley actually, is that? Stood here, drinking it all in. You know, yeah, I follow you on that one. I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna drink. Never mind, it won't give me a drink. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. 
A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mistaken <laughs> here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Actually, I'll wait for an extra little second. I wonder if he's gonna like, cause like at this point, Stan is obsession with this room bordered on <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. What the fuck it's do you know about me? That this is why everyone left. I hear everyone wouldn't leave if, just because I love the lounge. Like after working years pressing the same fucking buttons over and over, Stan like. sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more. He decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> okay, fine. I get it. I'll go. I'll go. Oh, it's doing that psychology thing on me again. It's not reverse psychology. It's kind of my, not really. Because if it's reverse, somebody would be telling you this, that, and the other. But yeah. I just realized the other name is like just grayed out for some reason. Underneath uh, Kazuto's raid. And his follow. Right, um, oh yeah, and if the follower stays as well, I need to check what the next follower goal is. I need to remember to do that. I think the next one's literally just, oh yeah, it's fucking uh, dog or cat ears. And if uh, Kazuto isn't here for it, I'm going to just have to ask someone else for it. Because it's not fair, like, brushing off the goal and leaving it for later. Of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Hmm, actually, I, I, I won't. I won't take... That's a weird shortcut. Is that gonna close? Stanley was so <laughs> bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Hey, do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. No, I love Big Joe. Joe, shush, shush. Do not finish that sentence. <laughs> do not finish that sentence. Okay, that closed as well. I can't jump. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. A thousand quid. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. Five thousand. Okay, I need a card for that. If he'll ever let me get one. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Can I just jump I'm off? Your enemy, really, I'm not. I really, but in his eagerness <laughs> to know that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and, and plunged, plunged to his, his death. death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Thanks, narrator. Oh, it's gonna fuck. It's gonna put me all the way back here. All At least I know now. I don't have the gone. way. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait. Okay, and I can turn this computer off, no can't I? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trick. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story. That computer's on. Way. There's all these like different doors that are Stanley open as well. Stanley clicked on oh. literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Input received. What does that mean? Is that is that going to do something later? Bro, there's so much to do. Bro, look at me being a good Samaritan. Just turning everybody's computers off for them. Okay. Wait, what if that's a bar to tell me if it's weak or not? If I keep typing. Okay, never mind. It, it didn't work at all. Can't remember which doors I opened to close, so. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew. Okay, I definitely tried to open these doors Perhaps already. He wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. But eager to get back to business. Yeah, I just, I love the way it just keeps cutting out. Okay, I'll go that way at some point. Right now, I'm gonna go this way and go across the way. at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Did I get fined 5,000 for jumping off? 
I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust oh. in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince <laughs> you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Danger everywhere. Right, go on. What, what's the beautiful thing you want to show me? Oh, this is a B room. Or like, uh, you know, it's not an actual full number. It's like two different numbers in a letter. Oh, unless that other door was the one I was meant to go through. When he said, here, let me show you. Now listen carefully. Oh this my god. Important. Stanley walked through the red door. I mean, I like pissing him off, so I'm just going to keep going to go this way. Perhaps you misunderstood. Oh, uh, Stanley walked through the red door. No! Don't take away my freedom of choice! I still don't think we're communicating. Oh, wow. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> the blue door's door. back here. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Yes. Oh no. Wait. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not yes. think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because <coughs> this is oh, excuse me. to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? <laughs> with me, you've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead. The ceiling light. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. You know what? Fine. Yeah, go on. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Why am I getting weird okay, portal vibes? I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Imagine if they used this before building the deluxe edition. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park. Oh my god, is it just... Let's take a look. Is there just going to be like... There's probably just going to be three, isn't there? Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Uh... Oh, these are like actual people, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, no, these are actual profile pictures of the looks of it. Oh, wow. Skip the intro sequence. Only 3% of players chose blue doors. 98% of players are more attractive than Stanley. <laughs> oh, this is you. Yeah, it's fake. Never mind. Maybe there was actual profile pictures, though. So, so wait, what? Does he want me to just go through a left or this again? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, Honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. <laughs> and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. There, <laughs> and Litty loads it. The baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation it's just the PNG of, of it, just confronting the... the demands of family life. 
I think the art world will really take notice. <laughs> but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. <laughs> about so four hours. Give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Is is this seriously it? Are we literally just gonna sit here for four hours listening to a baby cry as I stop it from fucking crawling towards the fire? Like, how loud does this button have to be as well? Why is it so loud? Fuck it. No, look, I know what this game is like. If you do sit here for four hours and do this, there probably would be different dialogue, but I'm not standing here. Sorry, baby. You heartless bastard. <laughs> you do it because you hate babies or purely to yes. spite me. Absolutely hate them. Matter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Oh. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Are you actually going to boot up another one of my games or something? Mm -mm, yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, never mind. Is it just going to load like thing? It'd be so funny if it just closes my game and opens something like Portal. Oh, th this is fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? <laughs> What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Bruh. Yes, that must be it. He's what accusing me of being a creep now. Experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Oh, that's the fucking Minecraft door noise. So wait, that's the Minecraft door noise, but I think we're in a game called Firewatch. I haven't even played this game either, but that's the Firewatch logo. All I remember is, like, I, do, I refuse to play the game just because, like, the developer, like, copyright struck, like, PewDiePie's video at the time for, uh... Let's just say he didn't say a nice word when he was crossing a bridge. And, yeah, I don't know. I just saw it as stupid where it's like, you're going to fucking copyright strike this one guy for one thing he said. When there's probably multitudes of people that are even worse that are also playing your game too and uploading it to YouTube. I don't know. I just thought, like, yeah, I don't know. But wait, if me, if I talk about out about him like this or them, the developers, will they, like, fucking ban me from this game because technically this is their game in Stanley Parable is there any other game in the Stanley Parable man it's fucking different as well like different art style and all wow okay so I won't be able to just drop down here god this watchtower is reminding me of like the siren head game I played like a year or two ago no 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 it can't be Oh yeah, wait, I just realized I'm outside now. This is lovely. Oh my god, there's multiple options. Can I go this way? How would- Okay, wait, he said like, we were giving me three options, but now I don't know if I really want three options. Ah, screw it, we'll go this way. See what it does. It is. It's an open world game. Good god, quickly, block it off. <laughs> Stanley, what a close call. You really wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow, you can just go... Oh, he covered any... the whole thing. Ooh. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. No, wait. Probably something with walls. Something with nice... Oh, I get it, so... Walls. It's a game in a game, but this is just like a section of the game they put into Stanley's game so that it could just block off like this. They just put me onto a Telltale game next. <laughs> it's just like, now we're in Rocket League! 
See, this is exactly what I had in mind. It's literally this Rocket League. A big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. <laughs> If you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Are you fucking kidding? I'm not even in a car, like! Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Is this Damn sports it. ball? I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes. Yeah. I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. It's gonna be in the middle, isn't it? Oh, I think they sped me. He sped me up as well. Wait, did they like copy and paste the fucking like thing game here? Because I feel like I'm going as fast as the thing cares now. Oh my god, this is so weird. How did they get like these guys' permission to make this? Oh. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it oh, better no. than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Okay, that's an endless pet. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sport. Uh, no, 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 I'm good. I don't need multiple. Here comes another ball. I'll just tell. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I don't know if I should go down. Have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. Should should I just go down the hole? Do I risk like resetting all my progress? Hold on. What are you doing? Oh, never mind. We're good. I think. Oh shit. Oh, Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write Beta. a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come Well, it's not my fault I dropped through the goal. Is this the edge? Oh, it's the edge. Oh. What fucking game are we in now? Is this, like, the same game but thing? Why do I get a weird creep factor from this one? And why are there multiple games in the Stanley Parable? Fucking hell, man. Th this has actually tripped me up more than I thought it would. Okay. That's nothing. I feel like I'm going to get jump scared in a second. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, low key, just because I heard the Minecraft door noise, I legit thought we were gonna get like be teleported to Minecraft or something. Like, what the fuck? How does this work? Oh, oh, we have a light. Oh, can I get in? Eh. Four, four two, three. Okay, lovely. Oh, never mind. It's just, it was one single light bulb. Oh, but we're in somewhere. And it nothing does anything. Lovely. I feel like I've done a lot. Is this like is this like a place in between multiverses or something? Oh. Don't you fucking dare jump oh, scare me. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna hold forward and hope something happens. Oh, never mind. Okay, something happened. 
Oh, that's it. What? Okay, that was a lot more fun. All of his co-workers were gone. Bruh. But I still don't know where, like, where did everybody go? I hate Mondays. I already tried opening all the doors before and it did nothing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art, art. but eager to get back <laughs> but to eager business, to get back Stanley to took the first open door on his left. Will that just loop me back round, though? Begin the game again. Okay, so if... Okay, let me see and this so way. detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Uh, Mr. Computer Man, I'm going down this way. We're not Computer Man, the right man. To go back to the oh, it does. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh... uh, uh da, 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 da. From here, it's, um... Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Oh, he's gonna fuck with me, isn't he? No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. And there's no other way I can go. Okay, lovely. Why do I feel like if I stood too much in front of this, it would just run me over? Oh, we're back here again. It was 234, Joe. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to <laughs> yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, closing. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. 104. It's all rubbish now. The whole story Pirate? is unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. <laughs> this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Oh my god, the, the way this game was crafted is, is good. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh my god, man. This is messing with me too much. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. That's different. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Oh, my God. Let's find the story. Well, I can't go that way. Because I legit can't jump. Ah... Uh... Oh my god, there's so many ways now. Uh, I'm gonna go through this door. Oh. So I can go down there. Oh wow, there's so many doors. Why are they. Oh my god, it's a maze. So it didn't matter which way I went, like, it would have just I'll led back it. to the. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. No, 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 wait. No! Bruh! He... Oh, my God. I was onto something. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I wonder if they got him to rewrite these lines. Simply missed a memo. Or not rewrite. I, I wonder if they got them to like reread these. Uh, that, oh, there's no doors now. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Yeah. 
All right. Wait, actually. This one in particular doesn't want me to open it. Oh, there's a cup here. Okay, that's different. There's a thing open in there. How, wait, has it picked up on that I like I usually would Oh, I what the fuck? We'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Oh my god, is this just a loop? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. <laughs> oh my god, man. At least I could like one hand play this and like blow my nose. Uh, okay. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't I think so either. I recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Yes. Mm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Hey! <laughs> Congratulations! Let's go! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. I did. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I messed with I you so much. I out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow oh. the line. How simple is that? Wait, we can go this way now. Oh, I'm so tempted to fuck around, though, and go this way. Okay, the coffee cup is still over. I'm not going to go through this door. Okay, so that is still empty. Okay, I won't bother with this, then. Like, I know I could disobey him, but I actually want to go through this, because this is different. Oh, can I turn that off? Someone's playing solitaire. Can I play? Never mind. So wait, all the office doors don't actually lead to offices, do they? Unless this one does lead to an office. Because this could literally just be a door that looks like it's an office door, but leads straight into here from the hallway. What the fuck is happening now? You see, I'm... the line knows where the story is. This. We're in this direction. Onward, Stanley. To B7, the... B8. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by oh, the there's the 4A. Forward, I... Are we okay. implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Not all right, okay, Tola. Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, okay, narrator. agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. It did, well, yeah. I'd like what? to apologize. <laughs> Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Oh, never mind, okay. It's not that song. Oh, this just loops back around here, okay. Lovely. This is insane. And yeah, you actually missed that, like, somebody raided me just there. In the raid thing. God, the music is kind of loud. <laughs> Why is it hopping on the wall for? Why is it doing some wall running, like?
Oh, we're at 0, 012 now. What the fuck? Who counts office doors from, like, top to bottom? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh my god, no wonder he's playing this music. Huh. Okay, I guess I'm... <laughs> just like... I'm so confused. Zero, zero, six. Okay, now we're back to 38. Now we're zero B5. B4. Oh my god. Bro. Oh, it's a Payday 2 mask! That's a cool little Easter egg. Bro, so we have fucking Payday 2, Firewatch, and fucking Rocket League all in this one game. Like, what? Annual reviews, monthly ledgers, corporate... Oh, I can't go back. Imbalances. Consolidation reports. Depart departmental accounts. Uh, financial records, personal files, or personnel files. Budget analysis. Oh, wait. Oh, what the fuck? That oh, that's tripping me. Wait. What the fuck? How did they do that? Whoa, uh, uh, what? Okay, so we have three ways to go. We have this way, this way, and this way. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. I guess I'll go this way. Employee 432 peer reviews. That's me, isn't it? I think that's me. Financial record. Oh, wait, we're back. Oh, my God, it's the same one. Second one. Okay, you know, wait. So, I went through... It's Wait, it's gone. What the f... Wait, it's gone. <laughs> it's, uh, I can't even go back through it. What? How did they do that? Bro, that's tripped me up more than it has to. I don't know why it tripped me up so much. Okay, I guess that's gone. I guess we have only one option now. Wait. Cut the music. Oh, thank Go you. And look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Wait, what do you mean? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. What, is this a fern from fucking Firewatch or something like? Let's analyze this. Okay, I'm done analyzing. I'm not. I'm not waiting here all day. I already. It, he already told me to wait four hours for that one game he made. I'm not doing stuff like that. I'm just gonna keep going. Like, oh my god! Thank God the music stopped. Watch it play now, just because I said that. Wait, what? we're back at the office. No. Oh, no, we are. No, yeah. Line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? <laughs> is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, so that's why there is the doors open on the other side. So this part of the story could take place, where the lion's just leading me all over the place. Well, these are new. I haven't tried to open these yet. Oh, my God. Oh, bro. <laughs> it's just leading me back here again. No, oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. 104. Restart. Nah, <laughs> he's just, he's just restarted the game again. I guess we're not following the line this time. Oh, I'm 427. That's it. Not 434 or something, whatever the other number you was. Know what, Stanley? I say forget the <laughs> line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Yes. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting. Wait, you're the one that's telling me you're telling me a story, though. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? 
I mean, nothing else is open to me. I guess we'll go this way. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just yes, plain walls. Forging a new Boring. Path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Oh my what God, it's looping me, isn't it? Be. Go wild. Use your <laughs> it's looping me. Whatever it might be, Stanley. Oh, I'm wait. ready for it. Oh, never mind. It's wait. If I go back this way, that's so weird. How does that work? That's the second time it's well, not second time. One of the many times it's done a like big thingy bob on me. That's so weird. This game's a lot oh, more enjoyable than I thought it was. Oh again. no. Stanley. <laughs> to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. <laughs> don't acknowledge it trademarked. I mean, to be fair, the line is probably just going to lead me back to that monitor room again, so I probably shouldn't... I say I shouldn't follow it, but I'm basically following it right now, because, well... Oh. Uh, sorry, Mr. Lion. I, I, I can't follow you up there. I can't even jump in this game. Ah, there we go. Ah, a different room. A choice. We get to make a decision. Yes. From here, the story is in our control. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, yes. I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that some. I'm just holding down my two like mouse buttons to just go, to walk. This is so handy. A reverse door that leads here, and that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask: Will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Are both of them? Okay, no, it's just one. Can I just check out this? Yeah, it won't open. Okay, lovely. The Confusion Ending. You've been playing the Confusion Ending for 18 minutes. Confusion <laughs> Made in heaven. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending, and we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times. <laughs> That's really how all this goes. It's all determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. <laughs> well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? I love the way both Is these doors just lead into here. All of this. Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. Oh, so this is an exact list of everything we were doing. Do and the time oh. stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um. Whatever it is that made this schedule, how would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, <laughs> okay. I guess now we just wait. Yeah. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm eh. not sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey. So wait, if he, he didn't restart, so the confusion so ending's not happening, right? Because right the now. timer stopped. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Jump fucking hell, Jesus. Don't jump scare me like that! What was the point in that? <laughs> That's so unnecessary! Why is the music different? Why do I get a, this? Well, yeah, this is in the same place. This is... Yeah, where's the office space here? Is there a different narrator now? When Stanley came to a set of oh, doors, the game reset him. On his left. Uh, I should have took a... I should have looked at that list of things to see, like, what the thing ending was going to be. Because he said, like, he was complaining how it's... We had to reset eight times and we didn't even do that much, I don't think. Actually, no, we probably did, actually. I I'm scared now. I'm going to follow his orders. <laughs> but I swear to God, if this just leads me to the ending I already know of. 
Oh wow, yeah, it's Yet, true. Here. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. If I go in here and he says something about a broom, I think that means we're looping. Oh no, oh no 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. I didn't even know I could crouch. Okay, so we have to go Coming up, to right? Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'll go down this time. Last time I was like, nah, I'm not going down here. Well, now I want to go down here. Oh. But Stanley oh, is that? just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. <laughs> and in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His they have, though. would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley okay, he's kind of spitting facts. He began to make other strange observations. For example... Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Uh, what? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words <laughs> for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. <gasps> I am! I'm floating! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Oh no, wait. It was so much fun. Oh, that's so cool. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps oh, the I can't strangest float question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head? Dictating everything <laughs> doing and thinking. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. thoughts. He thought. Fucking hell. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. <laughs> now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Look, it's the initial D care, that's all I'm going to say. Knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely. Oh, surely, it is looping. Just... Oh, no. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. <laughs> he assumes I have a wife. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. God, imagine if I stopped playing this during the first playthrough. I would have never seen all this other shit, like. 
Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone oh, tell it's me. It's I turning am real. red. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> Dramatic. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Wait. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her oh, place what? work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And what? in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. So she just she leave me. Time for this. <laughs> so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body, and then she turned and ran. <laughs> Is that it? Is that this ending? Are we actually done now? Have we? Okay. Is this? This isn't another variant, is it? I think now we're back to start the game again. Holy, bruh! I can't I can't remember if that was all one different side branch to what you could do in this but if it is then the game wow okay I have no words for that that that's just I I need I I need a moment just just let me get some water I'll be back in a sec I literally get yeah, that's what I'm just gonna just go just drink my water now just That time's not even a wait, why did it ask me Oh it asked me for time at the start because of that one achievement, right? Cause I think there's like an achievement you can get if you leave the game for five years and then come back to it. Oh my god, fucking hell. Okay, um, nah, fuck it, we're not leaving you here. I still don't know where everyone's gone. I, I refuse to believe in dream theory. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And it is normal, because now we're starting to see these, like, uh, office desks here. Is that different? Wait, was that, was that always spilled and I never, no, wait, no way. We, no, we're not still in the same loop. Okay, no, yet. Yeah, here's the doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. You know what, Tola? Wh wh which door do you want me to go through? I I'm fucking done with this. I already went through one and two, so let let's see if we can spice up a bit. I give you a choice every so often to like see if we can fuck around with the game. Oh my god. Um, I'm missing something. Wow, yeah, actually, I just realized there's a lot of that shit up there. There's that. Uh, later. Okay, right, yeah. <laughs> only right. Oh, th this could be interesting. If, if we can only this choose right for the whole thing, the that'd be interesting. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, yeah, actually, Perhaps up here he says to go left, doesn't he? 
Oh no, never mind. It. First allowance. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the f but eager to get back there you to go. business. See, now Stanley we have left and forward, so I assume, left. you know, just stick right. We'll, we'll just stay on the right side. Stanley was so bad I don't know why, but chat it's on screen's updating, but not saying. Oh, okay, wait, this one, I know. I'm going to have to choose this one, because... Okay, here's what I've done, right? Oh, wow, there it goes into OBS chat. I've already jumped off. Uh, let's just say it was a very quick ending. I jumped onto the platform there. Well, not this one here, but the catwalk. Went through that door, and I think that's how I ended up on the current, like, last path I ended up on. And then there's up there, which I haven't gone yet, so I'll go up here, just for this one. But if I can't make a decision, I'll keep in mind to only go right. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Yeah, no, I have to go to this platform. The There's no other choice. Nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten, forgotten about. about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not. I'm, I'm letting Tola pick for me. me. I'm asking for her. For her? Who's her? I literally Isn't know no Stanley, hers. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. Just let me see for a sec. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, because it's the only way. Hmm. That's a... Pretty ominous door. Oh, wow. The darkness is consuming me. Oh, Jesus. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Oh, if what socket is it? Oh, that's a... Another, we have those sockets in Ireland. Now. I can't talk to women! I can't! I'm definitely scared! Help! Hello? Jeez. Okay. okay. Can we stop being so bright? Oh. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? I did. No. They commit their life to you. No. Oh, okay. The point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. No, oh, fuck you. I'm go I'm gonna so, cry. But you're in my story now. He did this to me before when I seen the Firewatch place, bruh. Fine, I'll go this way. Hello, wife. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. De what do you mean, death? I'm alive. Good morning, employee four two seven. Press J on your keyboard. What if I don't? Fine. Uh. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. Oh, could I, I wait? Could I have unplugged the fucking phone? I never thought I could. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. of the inconsequential nature. If we get background to that somehow, then maybe I'll do that. Please press Z. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Oh my, he bro, he's making me do my job at home do. now. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. <sighs> but in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press O to watch TV. And so he began to oh. fantasize about oh, okay, his Okay, I guess not. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his... <laughs> his boss, everyone in the, the building, building had suddenly vanished. vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. K 
okay to spend time with the boys. Oh, with the bees. So, so what changed now? He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Why to prepare dinner? As he wandered through oh, this cool. fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinies. This room is just slowly now turning into an office. An enormous round room with monitors and mines. <laughs> and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. No. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Well, there you go. That's the name of the game. Pre please press N to tell your kids a story. Wait, I have Such kids a now? wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Oh, this is literally me right now. Just constantly playing the game over and over, trying to find a different ending. Tell your wife you love her. there is no answer. <laughs> How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Oh, he I get what's going to happen. The more invested he gets. He's going to keep talking and eventually we're going to restart to the start of the game, aren't we? Okay to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. How? But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Press... Please press J to be at work in the morning. See, if I press that, that's just going to be the start of the game, right? But, like... I, I, okay, there's a potential I could wait for at least a minute or two just to see if, like, uh, the narrator says anything. But I feel like this is one of those moments where it's like, it's gonna... It, it's trying to ask me to not do it, but it wants me to do it. Like, it wants me to press the button. So we wait. Not for too long, because I can't read. Really, okay, yeah, I think I've already waited long enough. Uh, do I press the button? Do I press it? Okay, I'll give it a 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... One. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm waiting until the clock turns the thing. I'm waiting until it goes all the way up. That little red ticker is going to go all the way to the top. Oh yeah, in, in other news, by the way, whilst I'm just waiting for this to happen, fucking Pyro has finally just moved off of Twitch and gone onto YouTube. And he's happy as well, because he's getting like three times as much the... Uh, like viewership and whatnot than he did before, and plus he actually has memberships and option. I know, think pass. I'll just press it. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get? I don't want to be ice? here then. How can I make him look at himself? A mirror. To question nothing. Okay. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. You need to wait for. Okay, I won't even be surprised at that point. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this. Because like that one baby game he made me play, I had to wait like four hours. But I'm not waiting four hours on the stream. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? Please die. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. I'm not pressing buttons though. Okay, just Loki telling me to kill myself. Epic. So, did I die? Yep, I think I died. Right, let's do that. Uh, let's actually All unplug the phone. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Um, uh, Okay, um, so I'm not going insane. That wasn't there before. Every time I restart the game, something's so, like slightly different. Like, I've never seen that ladder in there. I didn't see that there. And now there's a door that literally says, like, new content. 
Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Oh, wait, is it because this is like the like deluxe edition, ultra deluxe mega bundle whammy doodle? I wonder if that's what it actually means by new content. The fuck Hello, is happening? Oh. And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable. Oh yeah, it is. Ultra see? Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video 2013? game for 2013 on Jeez. home computers. And I'd never played it until now. Critical and commercial success. It was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world <laughs> of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. You have to play the game a good few dives though, just get Stanley back to here. Thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Well, I guess we're not going to be going back to that phone anytime soon. The literal, like, mop bucket or mop handle is stopping me from going through there. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing <laughs> yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning. Oh, if I said yes at the start, it probably would have given me the new content option, right? Oh. Shit, I wasn't listening. Um, right. Is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at <laughs> long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Watch there be like no new content at all. It's just all a bamboozle. Mm. It's all a sham. Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Alright. Alright, let's see it's the jump circle. Hold on, let me just Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be I can jump else, now. Right? Okay, something's gotta happen when we do this, right? I'm not just gonna jump and get confetti. Oh, in a clever way, though. This is like a tutorial to tell me I can jump now. Uh-oh. Oh, bro, are you sick? They're, oh, my, they just took away my ability to jump now. You can't jump. Achievement unlocked. Thanks, team. Thanks, game. <laughs> okay, fine. Just take a mechanic away from me, like. I didn't need it anyway. We'd just probably break the game with it, like. Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. <laughs> it's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. <laughs> you could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Imagine they just introduced leaning now. Honestly, this, this, that's... Oh, never mind. We're actually in an office space. That's over a pit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for That's joining it. the new content. You've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fans <laughs> rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please <laughs> ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? 
I'm infuriated and I'm offended. Where's... I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> oh my god, there is! <laughs> test achievement, please ignore the uh, test achievement description. Replace this. They could never have lived <laughs> up to such expectations. That is fucking brilliant. With me. Why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about? No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? I mean, I have no choice. You're just gonna, yeah, <laughs> just, just gonna reset me anyway. Like, there's no choice. Like, ugh, no choice there. Ah, that's kind of different. Okay. Oh, look, it's the hallway. Man. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent, I want to show you something. How about now? Ah, oh, to be fair though, it's kind of cool because now I actually get to crouch for once. Sunset. I should really look out for more game references because there's been three so far. Does that kind of say coffee nuts? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. We're already going into something. Already has me okay. crouched. You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Why do I get weird Elden Ring vibes from this? I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. The memory zone. You see, Stan, <laughs> doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was? Don't forget the Stanley it was Parable. With a cheap re release. Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, oh, there the it is. games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the I think it's in Russian as well, is it? Ah, 2013, when the Stanley Parable was released. I thought it was like 2015 or 17 when it released. The greatest wealth is memory. Oh, and they're like all the different magazines I think you can find throughout the game. <laughs> we have the Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. We've had audience award the Stanley Parable from the 2014 Independent Games Festival. And... Uh, the British Academy of Film and TV Arts, and it just has a sticker over it saying Stanley Parable. We have a rack with 2013 postcards. A first kiss, my first car. The release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. I, I love how much they're... Like, I love how much they're taking the piss out of themselves by saying they've made no new content, but this and upon itself is new content. The original remake. The Stanley Parable. So they relaunched it? Question mark? I'm so confused. Good times. This must be like really like good and nostalgic for the people who played it the first time around and got to play it again now in 2022. Smile because it happened. A trip down memory lane. We got discs here for... Uh, bits of music, uh, something, the Stanley Parable. Probably and the Stanley Parable. <gasps> me dollar bill! Spongebob, me boy! We got the Stanley Parable demonstration. Oh, so that's legit, that's just legit a demo you can play. I'm guessing it's on Steam as well. Don't look at that too much. <laughs> Go outside, don't play for five years. Yeah, so, no, I was right. There is an achievement called that. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. 
I wonder if it actually is then. Nominee. So this is all their certs then. I'm assuming they're the actual certs and they did just like do this for the game. New video video game releasing today. The New York Times. All the news that's uh, fit to print. Creator surprisingly down to earth. Rutger goes from scandal to new crisis. Business leaders pushing election of council allies. Colleges show uneven effort to enroll poor. I love the way it's just like the main headline in the New York Times. Somebody go back to, what date is this? 2013. And see if that's true. Oh, there's me just being crazy. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. A lot from the Los Angeles Times. In loving memory, little Stanley. I'm assuming that somebody's like hamster or guinea pig. That might actually be an actual thing. Because I don't remember seeing that at all in this. Okay, I assume like, yeah, I can't go to that yet. Please don't be copywritten just like yesterday. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Fantastic arcade. stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. <laughs> Did you hear that, Stanley? Every <laughs> game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. <laughs> it was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk, Marco. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> yeah, it's literally, bro. Found a Minecraft reference and a Dur House as well. I heard the Minecraft sound, so I was like, "Yeah, no, it's gotta be." There's Stanley sitting at his desk. There's all the monitors. The tasteful nostalgic. Uh, it was good. It's weird how I kind of feel. <gasps> Portal, bro. We literally just played Portal One as well recently. What a tie-in, like. I think that's five video game rep. Well, six and seven if you count uh, Skyrim and Persona 3 being mentioned. Oh my god, this is so weird. There's the main menu, the original two doors, the original remake. And we got an actual screen of them, I guess, making the game. Person of the year. All the buttons you can. Well, some of the buttons you can push. Memory zone maintenance. Oh, I can't even go through it. The top 10 memories from the Stanley Parable 2013. I remember. <laughs> this is not the end. Or the end is never the end is never the end. The greatest wealth is memory. Huh, I've never seen that before. I wonder though, does it pull like? It probably does pull from the like progress I've made in the game so far, right? Oh, the re I thought that was the French flag. I'm like, what's that doing there? It's like, ah, oh, okay. It's just like the um, blue and red door. Oh, so I'm guessing that you could actually, yeah, you can buy it physically of the looks of a. That's kind of cool. Oh, now it closed. Your number is 29. That was in Portal 2, wasn't it? I swear that was in Portal 2, but it looks like the Stanley Parable, though. People play games because of what they can do inside them, and your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything. Literally anything. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. 
Oh, GameSpot. Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. <laughs> Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. But this expansion to the game was still made? <laughs> it's just like... It's just gas when you think about it like that. Oh, can I? Nope, I cannot jump. Oh, it wants me to go back, that's why. Oh, so wait, if I didn't jump so much in thing, would I actually be able to keep jumping then? The Sears Room 2013. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Those are different. I think I didn't see those there, did I? Can I go down here now? Oh, it's open, yeah. Have any of these changed? I don't think so. It's it's still so weird to me how they just have like Portal and Minecraft pictures just here just, just just because wait hang on i don't recall this part of the memory zone before what's this what's down here steam oh no oh god no stanley it's a collection of reviews from steam <laughs> video game distributor i haven't looked at these in years I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if they actually pull straight from comments, that would be fucking gas. I don't think they will. But let's see. Oh, there you go. Got the recommended there, but... I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. <laughs> unfunny! I'm not trying to be oh. funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh my god. Okay, wait. So we, have, we can go down there to go... Okay, we can't go that like gay here we can go here or we can go over th oh no we can't no mind. some of them are just blanked out but they're probably like actual reviews as well it'd be so funny if they did they're just like they reached out to the guy be like yo can we put your like negative review <laughs> in our game and he's like uh yeah sure but i don't like your game it's like yeah cool but thank you <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see what this one says. Fair pair of boy fight. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. I'm so tempted at some point. Maybe if I re re like watch the stream, I need to look up some of them names just to see if they're actual people. Like, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's just boxes with reviews. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. <laughs> a skip button. There well, it goes. Well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then 
Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking <laughs> for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence... He's on purposely rambling that's on what now. They're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices for... Oh, gee. Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations. <laughs> <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this. <laughs> and they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. <laughs> yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to They're just this the guy. So that the feature is not widely abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more <laughs> beneficial. Something along the lines of, this game is the best game. Hmm, let me start over. How about this? From, from the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The additions and changes made to this expansion... I'm kind of tempted to skip him again, but I will... Mm. Of the history of all media we'll see if that's okay, what forwards back, it. Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well... I want to say maybe what? 45 minutes. Oh my god, I'm so glad. Unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated. Oh, it's and gone. we can say goodbye to it and just, wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? <laughs> Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. Wow. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no... <laughs> oh, Stanley. Look back. Look back. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Fucking hell. Two weeks. <laughs> I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking, but it isn't... <laughs>
Oh, oh, wow, that's, this is long. Oh, hello, it's you, you're here again, welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time, I stopped keeping track after a year. After a year? I sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. <laughs> I'm such a dickhead. I just keep skipping him. Oh, is uh, is he dead? Have I skipped so much time that he's gone? Oh wow. Wait, yeah, the clock's not moving. I broke time. Uh oh. Yep, yeah, no, the clock's on the ground. That's the smoke alarm. Why is the smoke alarm going off like? Oh wait. No, it's just a little ladder. I just don't like the beeping, please. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't entertain enough. Us. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of the <laughs> yeah, like... commands. But then he's Oh, yeah. No, I thought like time froze, bro. I never thought the batteries would just die. It's like consistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the Actually, now that I think about it, the that's died as well. Heart, the words that they are speaking into the world as though they I keep get like going out and checking just in case. Yeah, okay, there's nothing that's happening. I just have to keep pushing the button. We must be centuries in the future at this point. Like, by the time we open up... Never the end is never the end is never the end. Never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. Oh, water's starting to flood or leak through the pipes. Never the end is 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 never the end. Hearing someone else say this is actually so satisfying. Never the end is never the end is never the end. Oh, well, I guess he did end it at one point. <laughs> it's just like, so much for the end never being the end. And the plant just keeps getting worse. Yep, that's dripping a lot more. Okay, so it looks like I'm drowning to death for this ending. Okay, if the button pops... Oh, yeah, nope, the water did flood in. I mean, because I don't even have to go far this time, let's just uh, have a little look-see. Bro, what the fuck is even happening anymore? <gasps> Daylight! We can get out soon! We just need, like, a pile to build up over there and we can actually get out. Oh. Ah, oh, that's actually kind of nice. Wow, we must really be very far in the future if, like, flora is starting to grow here. Oh, never mind. It's all dead. And it is just darkness outside. The clock is gone. It's like nowhere to be seen. Bro, I just think the building is going to collapse. Honestly, yeah. I know I keep looking around and it might be annoying, but I just want to, just in case. Okay, I don't think anything's different this time. Never mind, that is different. I just heard something. I don't want to know what those sounds are, so let's skip to the forward to the future. Oh, wow. The building's tilted on its side now. And up here is filled with darkness. Huh. It's a desert now. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can't jump. Um... I mean, you were always telling me to go right. Uh, let, let, let's just go right. I'm assuming I'm seeing mirages. Wait, can I get on top? 
I can. No? Yes, no. Yeah, it won't let me. Right, I guess we just keep walking and die or something? I don't know. Nah, there, that's definitely a mirage. There's no way there's actual shit out there. Let's at least walk towards these and see if it's anything. Oh. Uh. uh, uh <laughs> that's it? Okay, cool. I guess. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it Bro, it's mad to think Stand it all starts here. Perhaps like in this fucking right. office. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna make a choice yet. I'm just gonna follow the path and see where it goes. Okay, let me just New new content. Huh, I don't think that sign was there before. Oh, you mean when I was back in thing, I should have tried to click the button. Well, not in here, obviously, in the desert. I should have, honestly. I should have seen what happened. Oh, yeah, that door's closed. Um. Okay, do you want me to go back to see if I can get to the phone again? Or do you want me to, like, keep doing the new, new content? Uh, Tola. Actually, wait, can I fuck around with this? No, I can't. Ugh. Let me bring this up here. Honestly, this is a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why I held back on playing it. It was the same with like Undertale as well. I held back on playing it because it's like, oh, this game's just popular with everyone. I don't want to play it, you know. New, new. Okay. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Oh, we're just going... Oh, no, no, we're going this way. Yeah, actually, the voice is different. It's like... I think it's a bit more nasally. Like a slight bit of hazel in his voice. Or nasal in his voice. Oh, yeah, and at the start, you mean as well. Yeah, the voice wasn't there until I just walked in here. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable. And about how oh, this the same one. This ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. <laughs> the original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Oh, what the fuck? Which is why I'm very why is it dark? to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. The end is never the end yes, again. See, isn't this far seven two <laughs> four two seven. A few minor additions. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel, an entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. The <laughs> two testing two printers at the same time, two different phones. Big two. Okay, so his voice is calling it the Stanley Parable Two is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? <laughs> it tastes the sequel. <laughs> what does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable Two. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. That's actual Windows ten? Well, 10 to 11 screen. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just like... Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just two of us. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky. Just the two of us. You and I. Bro, what is like? Head their back two doors. New content is out. New content part two is in. Old and busted. New hotness. Boring sections of the chair. Cool red section of the chair. Oh my god. 
The game has given me a good laugh, I'm not going to lie. Every pause button in a Roman numeral 2. More TSP, better TSP, win-win, sequential mindshare, paradigm shift, synergy, brick-and-mortar approach, envelop client-centric marketing, the color red, leverage uh, holistic value. Stanley Parable, two halves of a brain. <gasps> the fucking... Th he told me before that that would come... Uh, be part of the story at some point. And look at it now. It's in the Stanley Parable too. Let's go. Yeah, no, dude. That's just you typing as per normal. Oh, we have different logos here. Oh, it's a fucking presentation. Right, what do we got? So, the Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable and 2 is in it. Thanks for attending my meeting in Comic Sans. Bro, this is... <laughs> 2 and backwards 2 with a dot underneath. 2 Stanleys. Bro. Who would've, who who's thinking of this shit, bro? Big brain. Yeah. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much <laughs> more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. <laughs> Who took the red marker and somebody wrote later? Me. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman Arkham Asylum 2, and it's just in Bracket City. Divinity Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, Return of Jafar, Ar uh, Dark Souls 2. Even though a lot of people actually don't like uh, fucking <laughs> the Dark Souls 2. Yeah, back to that fucking person drawing. It's like two ears, two eyes, two balls. Maybe Stanley finally gets his other testicle. Um, We won't put Destiny 2 on that list, actually. I was going to say, what other 2s could we put on that list? But we're not putting Destiny 2 there. Um, I don't know, actually. Pretty good roster, honestly. Haven't played Half Life or Half Life Two. If that's something I really need to buy next. I played all the Batman games. Well, some of them. Okay, the yeah, no, I've played Arkham Asylum, uh, Arkham City, and then thing. I think that's how it is. Yeah. Right. Uh... <laughs> the pre the prequel to Stanley Parable Two is the sequel to the Stan. The parable... Okay, so it's basically just saying it's a prequel. Two. Two, two, two. And all the twos. This way to the show floor. Oh, look, we got, we even got, like, a red carpet. Th thank you, everyone. Thank you. It's me, Stanley. New features. Thank, thank, thank you. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> New content bus. <laughs> just, I don't know why it's making me laugh so much. I just think it's like, it's funny how like I guess aware they are or whatever. Like just the way like they've made this is just funny. Oh wow, we even got a big music. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. The Stanley Parable two, and then I have the two on its side. Oh maybe. Yeah no, because if you enter like that, if you if you stay here, it looks a bit better. Now, if you go different angles, it doesn't really look as good. Yo, merchandise! I saw the new content, Stanley Parable. I bet this is, like, actual content they're selling, or content, uh, shirts they're selling and merch and whatnot. Yeah, see, they even have a barcode up here. I bet, like, if anyone were to scan that right now, it would go straight to their store page, which is fucking clever, like. Uh, you know, actually, let's stay this side. The Stanley Parable 2... Oh, wait, sorry. The The Stanley Parable 2 Reassurance Bucket. New feature. Okay, I'm not going to actually go up the stairs yet or through any doors. No, please, no screenshots. You know I'm going to walk in there and screenshots shit. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket Office Decorations Infinite Hole. Interesting. 
No, the Stanley Parable 2. Wait, is that Stanley's face? Have we ever seen Stanley's face? I don't think we have. 3 and 44. We got collectibles. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Jump circle, infinite hole. New features, new content, new ideas. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. The new updated ray traced more of the same, but in a good way sequel to the Stanley Parable, I'm assuming that says. Uh, the baby is all grown up. <laughs> and it's bankruptcy you have to stop him from falling into. No, please, allow it. Oh, I want to see if I can click it. I can't click it. No screenshots. Screenshot. Oh, I hear interference. Red is the new orange. A whole new office. <laughs> um... Oh my god, okay, so we have down there. We haven't even gone that way yet. Uh, what do we have here? So enjoy the new features. There's another path where I can go. Epilogue. Taste the sequel, cold drinks. Hear your name in the game. How do I hear my name in the game? Exclusive, the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. If I go through those doors though, will that... Okay, wait, real quick then. Let me go this way. Because I, I, there's no door over here. I just want to make sure the door doesn't just close behind me. Free, new, and easy achievement. Can't, I can't believe it's uh, that simple. <laughs> it's just pointing at a trophy. Free achievement. Get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your achievement. No more step. It just works. Nah, I'm good. I I'll stay up here. I feel like it's just going to close on me. <gasps> Yo! Jump circle's back. Oh, but it's still zero. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a hey, damn it. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. Uh, Bro, come on. I want to jump again. I don't know why I'm so, like... Like... I don't know. I don't know, man. No screenshots. There you go. It's just like, I just keep like screenshotting everything. Uh, not much, Dammy. We're just playing like uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Mega Edition. And having a blast, honestly. Time Depth. Okay, so we have... Time like infinity, distant future, falling, distant time space, distant past, distant t space time, space like infinity, hole like infinity, and then if you go, you use the up arrow, that's time, and if you go to side, that's deeper. Oof. We don't need any time shit ruining, or not ruining, but destroying my brain. Opening rim, depth infinite, surrounding area. Hole entrance, infinity. Infinite hole chair, hole, depth, space, more hole, question mark, question mark, question mark, science, infinity, more, falling, educational use only. The holy moly, how deep can we dig? The answer may mildly surprise you. It just keeps going. What's here? Oh, is this the room with thing in? This looks like it's going to bring me back to a skip one. I don't want to go there. I'll see you in a minute. I just, like, I want to make sure I've checked everything. Then I'll decide. Because, honestly, like, getting my name said in the game sounds uh, exciting. But imagine if it just says Stanley, honestly. That would be fucking, bro. New. Can you find them? Can you find them? New collectibles. Collect them all. Oh, that looks so cool. Nothing's gonna lock behind me, is it? Ah, collectibles. Oh fuck! Now, no! It locked me! In the Stanley Parable 2, 
You'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley. Oh well, I guess we'll do that next time round. Fuck's sake! There will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> No screenshots, eh? <laughs> it's just like... It's just every player looking for these collectibles. Zero of six? Wait, can I go back out then? Oh, I can actually go back out, thank God. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for Exit it. jump circle. Tragic. Investor showcase. Infinite holes over there. Exit is that way. Expo Hall 2 guide. Jump circle, this map, free achievement. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Merch settings, world champion. Uh, the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket, Office Decorations, Epilogue, Collectibles, Infinite Hole, and The Exits. Uh, there's, oh yeah, wait, there's up here as well, I think. I think I saw stairs beside the jump circle. So if I kept, bro, I didn't know. If, uh, how high does this go? Jeez. So we have Settings, World Champion, Infinite Hole, and then Free Achievement back down there. That's new. I'm not going through this door. I'm just going to have a little peek through. Two. Meeting at two. Oh, wait. Never mind. There's no door here. Oh, this is the epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes. Yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's <laughs> just like uh, that image up there. It's like I think that's the girl that saw our like body and just chose to do nothing, and then obviously we're like just working away on the computer on her brain. Why is it like it genuinely feels like I've been playing this game for like, or I played this first when it came out, and now I'm just going through nostalgia. Settings world champion. Oh, okay, cool. I guess the door doesn't even work. Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Where's the infinite hole? We're going into the infinite hole. We can go back another time to listen to my name in game. And watch it just basically say Stanley or something instead of, like, Joseph Nightflyer. Right. You gonna Stanley, laugh? here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A steady <laughs> leap forward for video games as a medium. Okay, I don't think that... Yeah, there's literally nothing else here, so I'm just gonna... You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then... Since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Oh, okay, that's grand. I thought we were actually, like, it's just going to be an ending. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Wait, am I going to die if I don't? Wait, I'm keeping my finger on G just in case. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite <laughs> of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Oh. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar <laughs> and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. 
what normal person actually wants to fall infinitely. Not me. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. I am. I actually am the problem. Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't You mean. said things. I didn't say anything. put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Okay, give it like 10 seconds or so. We'll see like if it like if he's going to say anything else. It's like, you know what? No, I like chilling at the bottom of this hole. A hane, a doe, a tree, a cater, a cooig, a shea, a shocked, ucht, knee, ja. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, fuck. <laughs> was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? It did. Uh... help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. There's <laughs> so much more to hmm. show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Okay, oh, sorry, I fell. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where Wow. Okay. Yeah. I can see the top I'm there. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. <laughs> What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Yeah, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame oh. of my lie has come to. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're oh, obsessed. Oh, I didn't mean to stop But at this stop depth, him. I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do, and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Wait, I... Hmm. Yeah, it's not working. Is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. I'm literally it's pressing the button. Well, I suppose I... Just give me the jump. There's one thing I can do to fix this. Jump! I'm out. Goodbye, what? Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. But, but boss, I'm, I'm done. The hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of it. Maybe if I didn't use all my jumps, I wouldn't be here. Oh. What's happening? I hear something. Help. I want out. <laughs> I don't want to be in this hole anymore. Oh shit. Uh, but boss is moving down. The narrator bro. Wait, please come back. I guess we're going down. Maybe infinitely this time. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> the fucking music as well, playing, like building it up. Imagine something just closes it off. It's like, yes, this was my plan the entire time. To end you, Stanley, once and for all. I have to change your perspective. <laughs>
I can't spam it. Ah, oh, it's only one at a time. G to change as well. I could change the music as well. happening anymore. I'm so confused. H to change your reality. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my god. Change yourself! Wait, um uh... Wrong one. Let me zoom back in before I do this one. Am I up yeah, I'm upside down like dinner bone, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I'm upside down. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, the music's going backwards. Oh, good, you're awake. It seems you have sort of dozed off there, drifting away into the But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Oh, God. I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Am I, am I seriously just going to go back down again? Yeah, I'm going back down again. I think I hear ominous noises again. Oh, never mind, it's loading. Are we back to the start again? Oh, we're back here. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh, so it reset me back. Okay, grand. We are trying this then. The button that uh sorry. Mm. The Stanley Parable 2. Exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. That's new. That, yeah, see, it closed it. Two, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized <laughs> and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, Joe, there's nothing else to do, just do it. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. <laughs> right now, the button oh, is you. Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say but, like, your name, whatever name that is. Yeah. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the but, full but, experience like, of this. You could have at least Jim made it say Stanley. Stanley. You sure love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the <laughs> world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Oh, wow, okay. Do you feel it deeply? Yes. Are you really, truly Jim right now? Yeah, my Uncle Jim, if yeah. So, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be <laughs> worth the money. Yes. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Can I leave then? I can actually leave. 
Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Jim. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll start Jim. to lose all Jim. No! Jim. You actually Jim. Are. Give me it! No! Jim. I should have spammed it when I had the chance. Before I even took the button away, man, for God's sake. Come on, what have you say, Jim, as well? That was gas. <laughs> I don't know why I was actually expecting it to say my name. But I mean, anything's possible, right? People named Jim to play the too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Right, so we tried the infinite hole. We tried that. We got a collectible, one of six as well. If there is six, there's the exit. There's that black door that leads somewhere, and then there's like, oh yeah, there's in here as well. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you <laughs> go with? <laughs> Get Well Someday or Happy 12th Birthday, step niece. There you go. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. It's, Get yeah. well someday it is. Well, fine. But th thank you for asking anyway. Oh, it is. He put the balloons all the photos. Actually, maybe I should have gone with no, no. No, I don't go with my decision. I've been gone. stupid. Like, I'm just trying to be funny. Okay, fine. Since I know I can just walk in and out, let's see if we can get this achievement. Then <laughs> it's just like I'll tell you if it pops up in the bottom corner. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Wait, do they have... I think they have the other achievements on that as well. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm <laughs> no wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. At some point. Wait. Keep doing it. Pull me, please. Well, I mean, I'm pulling you, but you're not doing anything. Don't worry, we got this. Maybe if you do it like 142 times or 120 something times or whatever amount of times, you'll do something. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? You know, that's the thing. That's the exit. Uh, the jump circle. So that's the exit. That's the door. Merch store you can visit. The bucket. That's it. That's what I haven't done here yet. <laughs> the amount of cheat or like screenshots I'm gonna have is ridiculous just because I'm memeing like. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. <laughs> it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well. The book is not even here. After much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley oh, Parable here the Insurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal. And perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. <laughs> imagine what a pain in the ass that would be. Yes, the bucket is the perfect, perfect solution. solution. Come on, give it a try. Can you feel it? 
The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Can I keep it? The benefits it? of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. Oh, I'm, I'm actually taking it. Let's go, it's mine now. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Um, right, up the stairs. Joe, this is not up the stairs. Where is the stairs? Oh, yeah, it's over here. I think that's it then, isn't it? After I've gone through that door. Five is this map. Where's the number five? Is it just like somewhere? Yeah. Okay, so that's where I am. Uh, merch settings that I can't go through that. Stanley Parable Bucket. Decorations. Epilogue. Uh, collectibles. A9. It's just that one, isn't it? Uh, infinite Hole. And then, yeah. So literally it's this door and then the exit. Wait. Oh yeah, over here, Joe. Oh, I'm an idiot. I okay, I guess we're just going to leave then. Uh, actually, yeah, I could just go down this way. I don't need to go all the way around. I forgot I already went through that. So yeah, I guess that's it then. I guess we just leave? Question mark? I haven't even done some of the endings for the other game, or like the main game yet, yeah, but like, okay. Uh, but yeah, Joe, may maybe follow this, yeah? Joe, stop trying to skip through, just go up. I don't think any of that means right. anything. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready yeah. to move on now? Yeah. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly <laughs> clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Oh, uh, so are we just gonna like play the like original game with all of those features in it? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable Two. <laughs> um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... <laughs> okay. Never. Mind. Wait, jump oh, circle. Right. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is much better. I feel good about. <laughs> there we go. Version two. Well, that looks <sighs> bad. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. They really don't. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's <laughs> it. That's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. <laughs> Tastefully. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. <laughs> oh, it's actually put me onto a menu screen as well. <laughs> That's gas. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be playing the Stanley Parable 2. 
Uh, wait, are the settings all the same? Yeah, the settings are the same. They just changed everything to be red now. Begin the game. <laughs> it's so good. Man, this game is legit so fucking good. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Wait. Stanley worked for a company. <laughs> there is the balloons. Where he was employee. I fucking called it that they do something like employee this. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk. Okay, I'll skip this cuz I assume it's just going to be the same. There's the balloons. Some of them kind of not having a good time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh, it feels weird to be back memory. here. <laughs> wow, all my co-workers are gone and there's this weird bucket just sitting on a podium and a like red like fucking royalty looking cushion like. Stanley picked up the bucket. <laughs> Stanley picked up the bucket. I don't know what I can do for that. Is like another button I can push? No, I don't think so. Oh wait, they won't let me go straight through here this time. I don't know why. I wouldn't have caused that, would I? That's different, isn't it? Uh, unplug phone. Can I even do that this time? Because, like, we're in the... We're, we're playing the Stanley Parable 2 now, you know, Tola. We're not playing Stanley Parable 1. There's no phone here, actually. Is there that I can unplug? There's phones, but... Okay. If we reach that room somehow through this way, then yeah. Oh, the fucking thing's gone. It's not there anymore. Can't go through. Still leads to back, though. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay, so if we're going down the pathway to unplug the phone, which way was that? That was the right, wasn't it? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley that had bugged out. the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I love that I'm just carrying a bucket now. Just, just, just no other reason. Just, just because. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Okay, so I'll keep going. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. So that's back to the meeting room. Oh, yeah, okay, no, now I remember. So it's through here, onto the lift, up there to get the thing. No, said the bucket. <laughs> no. Go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Okay, Good, bucket, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was <laughs> It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. So we're just playing the same thing again, but now the bucket's... A quote-unquote bucket is directing me. here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Wait, this one? It's not really that dark. It's actually kind of bright. Oh, this room, yes. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. <laughs> a talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? Oh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. 
but there isn't exactly an instructional video on I need to do this again so when we go back to first oh, time yes, there is um it's sitting right here let's take a look what is comedic <laughs> what is comedic timing how does it work how long should it last how can it be used Clowns to take notes. silence your political enemies and more importantly, Wait. can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, okay. start by stating and spelling your name. <clears throat> Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke. Joseph, J O S C H. Times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. J O S C H. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom break when no. necessary. <laughs> when the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest <laughs> possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. Okay. <laughs> I'm Dunny with the funny. I hit my microphone. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Yes. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. So <laughs> from your audience on how rap they were throughout okay. the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long oh, and should include the same question reprinted several times. <laughs> just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember Why is everyone from The Simpsons? At some point, you gut-busting little scam. After all, we're each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight Wait. the 12-legged invaders who threaten our uh, existence. Oh, oh, very uh, likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. Uh, yeah, All of uh, us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause. Yeah. yeah. Our children must do after us. And yeah. And children after them. Ah. God speed and may earth reign supreme. Oh. Oh. Um, oh goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, yeah. Isn't it? I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again. So I can oh, my, my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. <sighs> Oh, okay. I actually have to walk back. <laughs> I thought it was gonna make me fucking, or it's like reset me back there. Can't open that. I guess there's no other way. Oh, and there's a there's a fucking fence around it this time, so I can't just walk I'm off. I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say. How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of uh. comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out. Add the bo Fine. bucket spoke. Think things. Honestly, I have I have a stupid smile on my face right now just from playing this. Like the people who made this and wrote the game are just fucking smart, and the guy doing the narration is fucking doing a phenomenal job at it. Honestly, it's no wonder people love this game. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, we just go straight to the punchline, okay. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. 
I oh. don't know what's going on. There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic... Without bucket, okay. culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. No, it doesn't. What an egregious mistake. Wait, no, narrator, you're right. Myself. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke telling world. I think. I think oh, don't I'm please, don't play the video again. Video. No, please, I no, Surely no. That will help me improve my. Is he actually going to Here play? Go. Oh, Here thank God. <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door. Yeah, no, it was already unplugged. I couldn't even unplug it. Oh, okay, so we're going straight in the room. What? Yeah, see, what it's a uh, thing. No, no, no. It's already unplugged. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> he is getting when annoyed Stanley at this. came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Oh, is it going to loop now? Okay, I'll do this one more time. If it doesn't loop, <clears throat> when uh, obviously we'll keep going. But if it does, then I'll go the left. Doors. They entered the door on the left. What? Uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, no, it's looping. Yeah, I can tell it's definitely looping from that. It's not changing <clears throat> at all. When the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on, on the, the left. left. No, 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 no. You were supposed what? to go through the door on the right. I did! To the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I, I think <laughs> this was all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I kept going right. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings <laughs> from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Oh. Wait, there's- oh! Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you- <clears throat> It's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Oh, we're getting actual credits this time. Let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Do not- I can't even leave. Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale- What's another word to describe a bucket? Based off the work of the Stanley Parable 2013. I think I saw him playing guitar. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley. I'm just... <laughs> it's just... I'm just... I'm no good at these jokes. I Additional art assets. Valve? Oh, Valve actually helped them. No wonder they could put the portal reference in. More instructional video. Okay, you can't just give me credits for the outro of the game and then have me spawn back here whilst looking at something new. Oh my god. I think that's the first time I've ever wanted to play a story choice game over and over, like. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, leave Bucket this time. Technically, this is a restart, so I won't. And there's a door open there. Can I open any other? Can I go back in my office? Why is the office different? Oh. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh, let's go up to the whiteboard. Dog mode. Oh, fuck, Jesus. I didn't actually expect to be able to tick it. 
I'm going to turn on dog mode just to see what that does. Is the narrator now just going to be speaking in barks? When Stanley came Never to mind. a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee well, lounge first, first, just, just to, to admire, admire it. it. So wait, do we ever even figure out like what happened to all like everybody in this building? Because I don't think we will at this point. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to. Get Honestly, back to I just remember there seeing the coffee the machine. Right now, there. they're actually doing an offer. It's like a hundred and something for a coffee machine. But they reduced it like to thirty. It's like what, how, why, and how? Oh yeah, this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fine. Oh, see, there we go. Now, now we don't have any fencing. <laughs> they learnt from the first time I jumped off uh, during Tang, but I'm not your enemy, really. Why is B open and not any of them? Interesting. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but, but you all, but all you this all this time. time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Uh, here we go. Someone you now we get to see what the actual dialogue, or what the actual dialogue is going to be. Make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Bros before hoes. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white uh -oh. light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. hope Wait, for I... a life reunited one... Wait, oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yes. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> I love that bit they do when they Stanley whistle the papers. Here, day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up That's a lie. It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Wait, what? <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. Wait, is he this talking is to me now? To make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, no. I don't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Oh, uh, don't. Please observe this no, please. Don't play another video, please. Choice. <laughs> Come best on. Part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. Right, how is example, it dangerous then? In this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which <laughs> choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Uh, oh, Excellent. I forgot. Making choices on a regular basis the is fuck? the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do okay. you make more than eight? Less? I probably do, and actually. Finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful, They're and not. whether you'll ever make a significant contribution <laughs> to the world, just remember... 
that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay, we don't. Ah, oh, what? Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh my gosh, it, it's going to do the exact same thing again, but we just don't have the bucket, and it's not like in the Stanley Parable 2 Walter Deluxe Edition thing. Yeah, see, it even has fencing as well. <laughs> oh my god. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform. <laughs> Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. I could if you write it right. Home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Fucking hell, man. What time? Oh, we're just after three, yeah. Yeah, I still have a good lot of time. At least until maybe four. Then after four, I'll decide if I need to go or not. But if we're still in the middle of something, maybe I'll try and wrap it up. Somehow. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have no. resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. No. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I was just seeing if the one behind me opened. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Wow. Uh, okay, yeah, everything is kind of contouring. <laughs> Oh, I have no choice, do I? I have to go left now. The fuck? <laughs> I can click the option for the dog barking here. I think I broke myself. about that you my story you've destroyed my work why for what what did you get out of that what did you think was so special about seeing the game undone left here like so much garbage it well, it's worthless now and what am i supposed to do even if there were a way to continue would it be worth it to know that my story is now incorrect how can i go back to that i can't erase that knowledge i'll have to live with it forever reliving its impossibility forever <laughs> oh, i couldn't live that way is it better to shut the game down entirely? Oh, to no. willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. He's actually going to close it, isn't he? I have to. Oh. Thought he was so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What did you think that would be funny? Yeah. You just had to see. Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually <laughs> knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world Maybe. outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. 
If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Wait, destroyed? It been so oh, perfect. yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I don't know if I should go right now. The door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back! Oh, is behave exactly as Stanley, Stanley would. would. That means. Oh wow! I move, but also it... exactly as Stanley would. That means. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me just stop still. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. Nope, never mind. It's doing it on its own. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. I can't even do anything now. Just it's freaking exactly out. As Stanley would. That means. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. I can't do anything. It's oh man. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. Is, is there exactly something I can do? That means <laughs> I'm stuck. Is exactly See, now I can't even tell if the game is broken or if it's on purposely doing this. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means I think it's actually legit broken. Exactly as Stanley would. Wait, I heard the sequel is now paused. That means is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means I think I'm on legit stock. I don't know what to do. Exactly as Stanley would. That means can I jump at least? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means I seriously don't know what to do. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Wait. Quit to menu. J just to make sure it's like not actually broken. This is the story. Oh wow. Of a man named Stan. Okay, never mind. We're starting again, I guess. Cool. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting. Room. No book. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe it wasn't really a good idea to just leave. When Stanley came to a set of two Oh wait, doors, they're already open. The door on his left. Do um pl uh, plug uh, but go to left this time. I'll try. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Well perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee, employee lounge first, first just to admire it. it. And here it was. The lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I don't even know if I can go up I'm to the door up there. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has Oof. been about nothing but you all this, this time. time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, and this is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that yes. wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me oh, we've to listen through this whole thing again. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to fade white, white roll credits. credits. Not picking up the phone is actually, actually somehow, somehow an incorrect, incorrect course of action. action. 
How is that even possible? Oh, I'm gonna just stand None up for a moment. The model's probably not gonna anything. track me whilst I'm standing. Understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? <sighs> Wait a second. Did I just see No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real I wonder person. if he's using my actual webcam to notice that. <sighs> Because I do have my webcam on, I'll see for Jonesy. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, Absolutely I wouldn't have not. that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Can I Choice. skip this? I can't the skip this! Being a real per person, but if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a uh. real person named Rupert has a choice. He could That's invent a, a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting... I swear I have free. a curse when it comes to manga. Which I always buy, like, make. volume one Remember of things I know, and then I can never get volume two of it. And at no time like, should you I have make volume a one of that does not conform to rational My Hero, if you find yourself speaking Demon with a Slayer, who does not SEO Alternative. Sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. I, I just said Allow that, the yeah. Oh yeah, and then there's thought, also the light then provide an excuse why you Solar cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, To be fair with comedy dog, because I got the second one of that, but I still don't have like three till nine. Or two crack. Excellent. Yes, I just practiced lying there. On a regular basis I definitely wasn't talking about my fucking manga collection, essentially. Most medical professionals right recommend making at least eight choices per day. Per Do day? You make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually well, my choice today actually was either playing a portal a mod or playing the Stanley the Parable Ultra Deluxe, that in the and I chose this, and I'm really glad space, I did. Honestly, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh, it, w it literally wouldn't open because of thing. Oh, I don't have the dog bark sound effect now. Just checking everything just to double check. Now that we know your choices are ah, meaningful, we can't have you jumping uh, off the platform maybe. and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Eh. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I know exactly what you mean now. So instead of going right and bugging it out, just go left. Because there's physically no other choice I can make right now. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I want to bet, though, that the left way is still going to be broken. It's not going to be different. Now, remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Yes. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Yes. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Yes. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to so a set, set of, of two open doors, doors he, he entered, entered the door on his left. left. I said it wrong. Shush. Joe, just stop talking. Oh, wait, this was broken, though, wasn't it? Oh, it's not broken. Wait, it's yes, actually... Not a single person here it's actually all right. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
<laughs> I can't open it. No. He literally is not letting me go through this. This is bull. This is absolute bull. Wait. Oh no, that's probably just the light humming in there. Coming to a staircase. Oh wow. He walked upstairs to his boss's office. He's not letting me like make my own choice at all. Okay. So basically I'm just gonna complete the game, right? Man, I haven't been here in a long time. I can't even go into the bathroom. They don't even have the sign for it there anymore. Can't go through these, can I? Nope. This is different. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. This is shocked. Is that going on a Stanley panda's head? Disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Night was Shark this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115? Okay, I guess not. Night Shark 115. Spoke the code. Night Shark 115. I'm trying, he boss. Spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Okay, sorry, look, let's problem? let's be fair. It's not working. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I actually can't even interact with it either. My dumbass thinking it's actually voice activated as okay, well. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far. Only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. But like... He knows what it means to take a story seriously. I, I can't do anything. see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you <laughs> this way? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. To me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Is behave exactly as Stanley. Oh would. no! That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. We've entered the left door. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Oh shit! Oh, just because I interacted with the fucking thing, I shouldn't have bothered. Choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead, and you'll be fine. Yes. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Joe, don't fuck around. Just, just do what he says. You are no longer Joe, you are Stanley. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. I, I didn't even do anything. Exactly as Stanley. Oh, it's going to do it that again, isn't it? Choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow Okay, I'll do it one more time. If that doesn't right. work, I'll just go right and then go when left. Stanley came to a set of two, two open doors. doors. He, he entered, entered the, the door on his left. left. Unless there's some other way I'm missing, which I doubt, though. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. St oh wait! Oh, well, okay. I just stopped just still. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the. <laughs> Come on, man! I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead, and you'll, you'll be, be fine. fine. All right. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley, Stanley came, came to a, a set, set of, of two, two doors. doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? 
quickly. Hurry back in the other direction. Oh. we're not too late. I didn't do anything. Swear down, boss. See, we're going left again. Nothing. Ah, oh, something happened. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Get Every Chris out so of the broom cast closet. Well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Oh, oh no, that's... It's impossibility yeah, to uh, oh, I couldn't live that way. Oh! Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Oh God. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. <laughs> what, did you think that would be funny? You just yeah. had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story... If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Oh, now that I think about so it. Perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so If this hard doesn't lead if this doesn't lead to anything else, we could go back to the original. Okay, we'll let this play out, and if it just bugs again in this next part, I'm actually gonna just do thing. Oh, is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the Oh yeah, no, it's still the end, yeah. Okay, no, it's still the end, okay. Can you hear me? I just forgot what he said Is last time. Right? By crows, crows, crows. Was that there last time? Yeah, it probably the story was. Needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? So I can just drop down are into you here. Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. No, oh, I was going to do something else there just before the end. Ah, back again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Are we not Stanley seeing a blue office the first? Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What are you saying, Tola? Bucket time or no bucket time? Ugh. I think this might be the last path I'll try. If it resets me back to the that office front again. And if nothing major is different, then I'll just, like, stop there. There's only so much I can stream before I'm gonna just get exhausted. It's been fun, though, playing this. I'm not gonna lie. Life could be dream. No, okay, so I'll just keep going.
This is different. Huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, hmm. Oh, well, sorry, I already passed it. <laughs> it's just like, it's already gone ages now. Um, I'm gonna go left. Just intuition. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disappointment, oh, wow. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I want to get your man out. There's like someone like trapped in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. To his boss's office. Actually, can I open this? Nope. Can I go in here? I can. Oh, collectible. Found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. <laughs> no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. <laughs> oh, I kind of just closed the door on myself. Ah, the office is normal. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried, buried below, below his, his feet. feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, another figure. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. I prefer the first name, honestly. So I'm assuming if you play the original game, you might get all of them. No, Joe, you have to play two to get the figures during the original story. But if you go sideways, that won't work, I think. Or to other options, shall I say. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door. Oh wait! Mind control facility. I never escaped before. I'm gonna try because I know in control facility there's two options. But I want to see what escape is. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Okay, but what's this violent death you speak of? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on <laughs> the track. I think, he is, I think he's bluffing, isn't he? He wants At me to turn point, around. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yeah, exactly. That's red. I mean, I don't think he's wrong. It was just I just died, didn't I? Oh, no, I'm still falling. I'm alive. Not for long, though. Doesn't look like it. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, oh. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. 
He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Uh... Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted... The well, I guess I'm dead? Brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Can I, can I just, like, crouch or something? I'm not. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley oh. was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. A different narrator! In a visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh! Okay. Um, I, I guess we're alive. <laughs> the Stanley parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Okay. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. <gasps> Do you see now? Yo. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? This is so cool. This is just like the act, like the office layout. So wait, that you go this way to go that, and then you, you make the choice here. You choose one or the other. Filing cabinets, office computers. I'll just turn them off. Save some power. What we got? We got uh, the office. One, two, and three. We got. Button sounds. Uh, a selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Kind of hear it, actually, yeah. Oh, and there's the credits. And we have two different ways. Oh, okay, so... Oh, no, never mind. I thought that was going to be a hole I just dropped in. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. Ultra Deluxe Announcements. In December 2018, we announced the Ultra Deluxe version of Stanley Parable at the Game Awards. These are screenshots of the games we made for announcement and the game's delay. I didn't see the money one there before. War Zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would never become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Ah, uh, there's no harm in it, like, poking some fun at some people, like. So we're just in a museum, I guess. From Force to the narrator, uh, will the Stanley Parable, oh, okay, subject some questions. How do you make a JRPG, Japanese RPG? How do you make the worst game ever? What is the difference between uh, a duck? How is the game going? I hope it is good or better than the first one. Cool, from a cool man. Are these actual, like, emails that were sent to them? Are you a rock? Well, it's not even question, it's question. Zian. Question. Could you tell me what the significance of the number of one 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 two eight zero zero is? Narrator emails. After the second trailer, we sent out. Uh, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Oh, cool. The office, the lounge, an early version of the lounge. I think it's better being blue than grey, honestly. Uh, the cargo lift, the second version in, is functionally the same as what in uh, what's in the final game. But we wanted it to look more like a place where cargo was actually stored. Yeah, that kind of just looks like portal, honestly. <laughs> what do we have here? The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice... 
leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. I want to pick it up now. The cargo lift. The cargo lift was uh, always intended to offer the choice of staying on or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. God, this thing's a maze. Zending levers. These levers were originally part of the zending. Uh, the player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color they had pulled. Ah, I want to see if that would work. Zending. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually caught and merged with another part of the game. I don't know what part. Zending model to many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete. Decided so to abandon and change it again shortly before launch. Uh, escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted uh, from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Resume the game. Okay. Can I get out of here? I, I think I've seen enough now. Monitor room elevator. There's like so much stuff in here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Office clock. Okay, yeah, we just have to come out that side, so... Is that it? Can I go back to the office then from here? Because like, if I click resume game, will that just actually just bring me all the way back to the very beginning? Like, I mean, beginning beginning, like fresh beginning. There's some offices. Stanley's office from left to right, the evolution of the office of time. We created 2011, 2012, and 2013. Cool. I think it's cool that they have all this game design mock up. It's just. Oh, yeah, Joe literally said exit right there, and you didn't even go through it. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Okay, Can I think it turned off. Can you see how much they need one another? Maybe. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Uh, me, you can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Oof. I needed to see what would happen. <laughs> oh, we're loading. Okay, we're still in the sequel. So it hasn't gone. Oh, there's the bucket now. Huh. When Stanley came oh my god, we're back here. Doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Um... Fuck, now I'm getting intrigued though. Who is she? And plus, I still haven't done the other thing at the end. Oh. Access plan. Produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collectors to shiny flow. Mean more planks. Retrieve Chris's remains from the warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. La, la looks like thing. Five, there, three. Gotta collect them all. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Inside of sequel. Oh, wait. No, that's not... Have I gotten three? Yeah, I've gotten three of them. So I think it's ticking off when I've gotten them. A large room, lots of boxes, stairs, something to do with stairs. So we're both red and blue. So when I have the red and blue choice? 
There will be a reward for finding them all. Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go home. How can we find them? Bottom text. What we know. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have uh, to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo for management. Agenda. How can you tell? You spotted one. What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? <laughs> Good point. Fig leaves are hard to find. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Red room? That'd be downstairs then. Thank you. Good luck. Oh my god. I might actually have to stop and play this again later, man. I guess I have to actually find them. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Aha! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What I think it's Figlies. What encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let <laughs> sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Okay, I don't actually have to go through there, thank God, because I wanted to go upstairs anyway. But yeah, no, as I said, I might actually have to just pause this and come back to it later. I was thinking, like, okay, maybe I won't come back to it. I'll finish one ending. But now I'm just like, bro, I'm technically continuing from last time. Yeah, no, that's where I found that. I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say that's a l lovely purse. Ha, huh, interesting. I think it's trying to tell me... That there's another figure somewhere. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, what bursting was it into again? half moans, half sobs. The guttural retching of life from a I man denied remember. any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's, boss's desk. desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code. code. So devious, I think he said something so different deep, like the three times no I've heard him speak like this. Two eight four five. Statistically, nearly yet incredibly, I should wait till he finishes to do that. On the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. He was here last time. So I think there's like two more figures total. Right, so this time when I go down, not escape, I want to go straight forward. And instead of shutting everything down, I'm going to reactivate everything and see what happens. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind, Mind Control, Control Facility. Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I have the strength right now to at least go until I spawn back in the office again. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom and... Honestly, the glitch screen, the fired screens must mean something. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. I he refuse. He accept it. 
his own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Control oh yeah, and there's these numbers as well. Happy I never sad, figured them out. Or content. Walking, eating, working, I can't all go of it there. monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past. Her console to disabled, him, okay, I guess I Stanley won't interact with it then. This machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, God. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, <laughs> and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Uh, what? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to uh, uh, a nuclear? eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say... Um, now? Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Oh, God. What precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me. Three. Where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. That's What's one that? and two. Where's you three? Know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Yeah, wait, what I happened? I raised them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Fuck. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost uh... hate to see it go but i'm sure whatever i come up with on the oh next jesus run, no don't better. oh that is My impossible goodness, only 34 seconds left but i'm enjoying this so much you know what to hell with it i'm going to put some extra time on the clock why not these are precious additional seconds stanley time doesn't grow on trees oh, okay I thought he was. Oh, wait, there's a thing up here now. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Uh huh. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. One, four, two. Buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? I think it's wrong. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Fuck. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. I don't know what these buttons do. That door was open. You wanted to control this world before. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. A goodbye, employee. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. 
just you being blown to pieces? Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? You know, I think I'll let it go peacefully. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Jesus. <laughs> Flashbang me, why don't you? <laughs> the sequel is now paused. It's still the sequel even after all that. Oh man, I need to take off my headset. And I need to go. I I need to rest now. That is... Wow! I've been streaming for a good part of like four hours. Like three hours and 44 minutes, man. Holy shit, man. What a fucking game. Honestly, what a really good game. I don't even know if I'm done yet, though, honestly. Um... I guess maybe I'll be back later to play it, but I'm not sure. Like, if I have no plans, I can stream again later, but right now, I just, I'm just gonna go. I need a rest, man. So, yeah. Um, yeah, no, go on. You can say I'm, I'm, I won't go yet. I've just seen your message. All I say is anybody watching this back to the VOD, make sure to like the video if you liked it, comment if you want to subscribe, if you want to hit the bell if you do so desire, and so on and so forth. Uh, oh yes, let me, let me just write Discord again on the board. I'll probably do it, like, right after this, but, like, I'm not going to have Discord over for long. I'll just open it for two seconds and chill out. Right. Uh, other than that, oh, I need to also, let me put my, I don't know, it feels weird when I talk with my headset off, like, when I'm streaming. Okay, Opera, just update without me knowing then. Just give me a second. I need to... Um, let's see. Um, what's this saying right now? Uh... Just give me a second. So that's that. Where is... Oh yeah, the... Joe, it's right here. You're literally looking at it. What's the follower goals? Uh, it's 64 we just hit today. Yep, okay. Um... Right, I doubt uh, Kazuto is still here. If you want Tola, you can choose this option or you can choose to push this option to the 74th follower goal, but for some reason, I have written down this. You probably won't be able to read it from there. Uh, where is it? Give Jonesy either dog or cat ears for a week. So starting today, I have to now wear dog or cat ears. I'm not proud of myself for it, but again, it's for a week. It's a forfeit. And I will do the forfeit. I won't back out of it. I'm not going to pussy out of it. What's next one? Uh, next one's spending silver in Destiny 2. But we hit 60. We haven't hit 65 yet, so. We won't be able to do that yet. The only ones we can skip is when we hit 66. Um, which will just go straight to 67. Where I'll remove glasses and wear sunglasses instead. Uh, for a week as well. And what's this? J Alpha change. That'll be skipped. Uh, that'll be skipped as well. Follower decides what game to return to. That's 70 followers. Uh, and then I skipped a follower because I was like, fuck it. Well, uh, like after 70 now, it's going to be every 72. And then <laughs> literally I gave up. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need to show this. <laughs> Look here. Look. See, it says 72 followers, right? Uh, dot, dot, dot. Okay, you decide. I can't. I'm tapped out. Like, I literally just ran out of ideas. I think I am... Um, I should put some other ideas here, but yeah. Uh, what are you saying? Cat ears. Okay. Oh, let me... Whilst we're at the... Yeah, actually, whilst we're at it. Let me... Can I quit to menu? Yeah, it should be up. That's grand. So let me make sure to quit out of the... Oh! <laughs> the main menu, by the way, is stuck as the Stanley Parable 2 as well. Um, Quit the desktop. 
man. You get to see a lot of, like, just me fucking around in V-Roid Studio. But cat ear... No, the sunglasses is the last time I think we're fucking around with the Jonesy model for a while. Until July 4. And then after that point, it'll be different. Honestly, though, I've actually grown attached to this purple hair. I actually really like it. Like, I need to, like, um... What should we call it? I need to... Uh... Yeah, I can show both of them. Just give me a second. What am I doing here? Okay, I'll take this one. Just give me a sec. Uh, save as. Um, actually, I'll call it Animal Eared Jonesy. Uh, Jones C. I still need to stuff some of these other models away. I still have like the Christmas 2021 model. Oh, excuse me. Down in the open. Um, but yeah, hold on now. Just give me a sec. It's still like loading. Right. Uh, okay, there we go. Got the studio. Don't worry. We we definitely have. Yeah, we we have thing on. We have socks on. We're good. No feet this stream. Nobody ever tell Twitch about that. We, we Twitch don't need to know. But um uh where was it actually? Was it accessories? I think it was accessories. Yeah, there it is, furry ears. Oh, never mind, it's not between cat and dog. It's between cat and rabbit. That's actually such a shame. I thought it was cat and dog. Oh well. Well, so you get the option now between cat ears or rabbit ears. Let me zoom out a bit cuz I think it's going to So Obviously, we can recolor them. I think we can... Yeah, we can edit texture, so we can recolor it. Um, what should we call it? So that's what the cat ears look like. And here's what... Oh, okay. They're, 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 uh, ah! 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 That's so many. Okay, wait. Uh, cat ears. There we go. Okay. So we got cat ear option there. And then there's the bunny ear option there. Uh, the only problem, though, between cat and bunny ears, though, is if I have the bunny ears, it's going to cover the heart ohago. Or ohago. I can't even remember how to pronounce it now. You know what I mean, though. Actually, no, let me just put myself in just chatting real quick. There we go. Feels right. <laughs> it clipped. Honestly, if you want to just clip anything from me, like, it's just all good, like. It'll just be like there's more videos for thing. Yeah, no, honestly, I was thinking cat as well. Just because, like, again, we can recolor this, but, like, the bunny ears right now will just cover that up. So in the future, maybe, like, if I don't have this as an option again, I'll have, like, bunny ears instead or some shit to uh, swap it out. Uh, so we can do a thing. We can move them a lot and stuff, but I think just keeping them still, like, where they are now is grand. That glasses, Joe. Why? Oh, there we go. Um, color, there we go. So, should should I just simply go, like, um... Whatchamacallit, actually, let me zoom in a bit. I <laughs> just... Belady, <laughs> belady. Should I just simply go with the, um... Purple hair design, or should I go with a different color? So I think, like, purple would actually still work for it. Like, let, let's just see real quick. Actually, no, they kind of just blend in, don't they? Hold on, let, let me just do a little experiment. Oh, yeah, that, that's way too... Yeah, Joe, that's too dark. That's too dark. Control Z. When, when in doubt, Control Z it out. Are you sure? Because I can change different color. Like, I'll just see... How, how does red look? Okay, red... Oh, okay. They're very bright. But that's because I'm changing, like, the... um. Because, like, that's already set to brown. And obviously there's black... And then there's white. <laughs> white is literally like, what the fuck's even protruding from my hair? Like, yeah. Well, let's just go with purple. Keep it easy. Oh, I kind of like that purple, actually. Because I think before it was a bit brighter, but I think that dark one, yeah. It's <laughs> just RGB. It's just like, somehow constantly have the stream on like this. <laughs> so when you see me, it's just, it just changes like in uh, colors. In the other software, you might be able to do something like that, but obviously I won't be able to do it in thing. Oh, shit, we've lost the colour again. 
Oh, wait, let's go a bit darker. Because I think when it's a bit darker, you can see it better. Actually, let's see. That's bright. Yeah, Joe, you've made it look stinky now. Come on, Joe. But put it back where it was. There we go. Yeah, no, I like purple as well, honestly. So I'm really glad, like... Was it you or the other guy that I asked to change the hair colour? Because when they, when they said purple, I was like, bro, yes, this is exactly what I'd love. Um, And I only say that because, like, I see your uh, name colour in the chat is purple for me. And obviously on the screen. And that other guy's name also had purple as well, which is confusing. But when I see someone like Dami, I know them immediately because it's like, oh, they have a different colour. Like, they're blue. And, like, if I chat, you'll just see here. It's, like, in gold, like, slash yellow, because um, my last concept character for Sherry Arbor's story was uh, Claire, and she's more of a yellow-themed character, so, and Blondie, so. Other guy, yeah, yeah. Right. Right, I guess I'm a bleeding Neko cat boy now. This is going to be the clipping phase of my career, isn't it? Everybody's going to clip the fucking little femboy cat fucking, <laughs> just, like, doing shit. Uh, okay, right. Okay, let me just full save. Then let me exit out. Uh, oh yeah, I just realized I'm going to have to fuck around with that. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll sort that shit later. So let me just... Yeah, just double check save. Make sure it saves. Oh, it, no, don't crash me. Thank you. Export... What is that? Poor sad Twitch global emo. Aw. Poor little fella. Uh, export. Cat eared. Jonesy. Uh, thing. Export. I still have the, um... That one time when I actually watched a tiny bit. I still have, like, the Overwatch League Tracer emote. Just there. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not going yet. I'm just actually... Just let me sort this. Okay. Okay, let me put that away. No, actually. Okay, wait. Let me make a folder called Jonesy... Um... Model. Jonesy 1.1, Jonesy 2.0 because of the hair color, different outfit and purple hair, oh wait, leave that there. If I take that out, I think my model will just fucking vanish from existence off the screen right now. Uh, 2.0 with glasses, uh, Jonesy. Uh, Jonesy again, <laughs> just Jonesy 2.0 again. Uh, hmm. I actually like how some, like, uh, emotes can stick together to make something like that. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, Josie Christmas 2021. So that's that one. And then there's Josie Halloween. I uh, just fucking chuck it in there, Joe. You know, we just call this Josie. Models. Oh, yeah, and there's literally a folder as well. Here, just put Josie's models. Old models. Twitch stuff. Grand. Okay. Right. Uh, let me do this. Save it. Okay. Right. Uh, actually, you know what? That, um, yeah, it's fair. Joe, go on. Just do it. You hit the goal. Just fucking show it now. Actually, let me write the timestamp. Sixteen twenty-one. Right. Um. Avatar selection. Why does it make me do this every single time? Stop. E. <laughs> e. E, E, E. E, E, E. Video. Booty tubing. Uh, we could have always put that in thing, Joe, but I guess we'll leave it out. I agree. Uh, set background. B -b -b custom color. Boom. Bada pow. There we go. Dead pan face. I always have to click like fun 
Just because, like, Jonesy just looks dead every time I do that. Oh my god, the fucking ears wiggle as well, I think. Just slightly. Yay, I'm a cat boy now. How fun is this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I need to remember when I go off now to actually at least give you a role that can uh, do that. But anyway, for now, let me just end this shit. So, thanks for watching the stream. Probably back later. Goodbye. Have a good time. More follower goals to shit to come.